As soon as they pull the dumb shit, and Slow got to get it. Slow got his jaw broke, chain took. You'd be really, you'd be really looking at him funny if you realize the chain is silver. They done spray painted it. Nigga that took the shit was so mad he wanted to hurt him for that. He said, look, nigga was like, man, I should go get this nigga for having his fake shit on his neck. I'm like, no, nah, leave him alone. Let them make another move before something happens. And you can tell a nigga pussy, the niggas went running around, fucking with the little niggas, the snows, the, the young niggas from my hood. Those peewees, those niggas babies that I grew up with. At the end of the day, I put that nigga ass out of business. Yeah. I got a phone with Mark Echo. Cause I made all my money with Mark Echo, with you and the clothing. We made it to a point where we was doing 80 million a year in, in retail. It sounds like a huge number, that's the number, but 10% of that is the actual money. So, while you saying you're doing 80, you really doing eight, and we splitting it four and four. At the time, still honest to God to put that on eight. And these the niggas just distributing them little slow buck shirts and shit like that. So I told the nigga straight up, I said, this nigga making himself my enemy. And if you working with him, you financing it. The other end of this shit. So without me notifying you, you gonna become my enemy. And all of a sudden you start to see it my way, so they drop them niggas. And you don't see those slow buck shirts on sale no more. That's how it go. It's Woody Jack Nimson. Check it out. Because uh, the bad blood between 50 Cent and his rivals from New York runs really deep. Now, if you thought it was only deep as getting tossed off the stage off Summer Jam last year, you're clearly wrong. Now, it actually goes back before uh, some of his uh, quote-unquote enemies took pictures with his son. And actually, it's all bad tension that just culminated to that point at Summer Jam. Now, in true 50 Cent fashion, he was on a live stream and he spoke on slow bucks and the alleged chain snatching incident okay he came out he said listen man the worst part about that chain snatching incident is that allegedly that motherfucking chain was fake it was sprayed silver now he even proclaimed that he ended slow bucks t-shirt brand if you don't know man slow bucks is pretty much a group of two dudes one of the dudes rap his name is bucks the other guy named slow he's the businessman slash entrepreneur he's been peddling a uh, a t-shirt company for a while a lot of people like it but 50 Cent claims he has ended that brand, and it was kind of interesting to me, because uh, the way he said he did it, I don't know if people would consider or call that street, but th then again, it's 50 Cent, I mean, it's 50 Cent, exactly. Now, uh, he said he did this, right? And if you guys don't know, uh, Mark Echo was apparently the bigger brand that was behind Slowbook's brand, that was either financing it and also distributing it, and basically, he said he called up Mark Echo because he did a lot of business with Mark Echo in the past, and basically said, listen, Okay, this guy's engaging in street beef with me. He's pretty much making himself my enemy. If you fuck with him, you become my enemy just by how the rules I kind of roll with. And basically, he kind of forced Mark Echo's hand to stop fucking with slow bucks, which means stop financing them, which is obviously a big thing for a brand that was either popular or growing. Now, I'm kind of stuck in between calling this a boss move and a hater move. I mean, a lot of people usually think that, listen, once you start doing shit like this, when, especially when you got street beef. If you got street beef, that's one thing. But once you start doing shit like this, it's kind of different. Imagine you beef with a nigga in the street. He shows up to your job 8 o'clock in the morning before you clock in, and he's talking to your boss trying to get you fired, okay? Is that part of the game or not? Now... Sometimes you got to think about it. Maybe it is a boss move because he's talking about and he's actually affecting the money flow, the cash flow in your camp. And he's making sure you ain't got all the resources to fuck with him or beef with him appropriately. Now, Slowbox hasn't commented on the situation yet, but 50 Cent is claiming that pretty much he just got Slowbox blackballed. Okay, that's what it is. Now, I don't think you could ever, like, blackball people in music these days. Music's a little bit different. It's changed because of the internet, the direct-to-consumer um, approach and model nowadays. I think it's really hard to do so. But a lot of these brands, right, that are not, like, for example, like music, intellectual property, uh, they still rely on manufacturers and distributors and people to finance them. So if you could really cut all ties in that end, man, listen, that's how you really cripple somebody's uh, business or cash flow. 
Buffalo. Now, I'm going to open up for a debate, yo. Uh, you guys heard the audio. You heard my thoughts on it. Do you think it's a boss move or a hater move? To me, I kind of think, like, uh, it's a little bit of both, but at the end of the day, it's 50. Now, I will tell you this, though. I think a lot of people love for 50. We kind of co-sign and ignore a lot of fuckery he does. As I said, you know, I mean, he is fucking with maybe another man's ability to earn for his family but then again you could make the same point that when slow bucks did whatever he did to 50 he was fucking with 50 as well so get a comment box make sure you guys like i'll read your comments it's your booty jacket the negotiator i'm out